Okay, so what I have here is negative 408 degrees, uh, 16 minutes and 20 seconds. How do I write that as a decimal, an angle that's gonna be using decimals rather than using minutes and seconds? So minutes and seconds is a way for us to measure, kind of to break up a degree. And it really works like this. 60 minutes is equal to one degree, while 60 seconds is equal to one minute. Therefore, 3600 seconds is equal to one degree. So it's just a different way of breaking up. It's like how we break up time, right? 60 minutes it takes is going for an hour. So you can kind of relate an hour with a degree um, if that helps you out. Now what we have is I have 16 minutes. Now remember it takes 16 minutes for me to make one degree. So what I want to write is I need to write this as a ratio. All right, so what I have is, I'm gonna kind of factor out the negative four here, because the negative just tells us direction, so we'll put that at the end. So I have 408 degrees plus a fraction of a degree, right? Because 16 minutes is a fraction. It's not, that takes 60 of them to make one degree. So I don't have 60, I only have 16 over 60. It's a fraction of a degree. Same thing, I need to add the fraction of my seconds, which would be 20 over 3600. So you guys need to remember that when you're adding them or you're converting, remember these are parts of a degree, right? It takes 60 parts of minutes to make a degree and 3600 do seconds to make a degree. So if I'm given certain parts, I'm going to put it over the whole that it takes to make a degree. Now I need to convert, find the decimal approximation for this and then to add them up. So what I have is negative 408 degrees plus 0.2667 plus 0.0056. So these are ones that I just did in my calculator before so I can write them down. And these are just gonna be your uh, decimal approximations. Now, when I add those all up together, I get negative 408 degrees plus 0.2, uh, 408.272, all right? And those are some answers, I just added those up in a negative. Now why did I factor out that negative? Remember, negative is just gonna tell you direction. So the quantity of your angle, or your, your measure of your angle, you're still just gonna be adding up. However, we introduce the negative again to remind us that the direction of this angle, no matter if it's in minutes or seconds, it's still going to be negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you subscribe, ask comments, ask questions, ask comments, that doesn't make sense. Make sure you make comments or ask questions. Thanks.